Welcome back, my faithful Legionnaires, to another episode of GTA 5 mod review slash showcases. And today we are doing none other than the CIS Battle Cruiser from Star Wars Attack of the Clones, as no, not Attack of the Clones, the Clone Wars, as well as in the Revenge of the Sith. Now, before we move on with the episode, I'd like to say welcome back to the channel if you are a subscriber. If you're not subscribed yet, go down there and hit that subscribe button. It is one small click for you, but for us, it is something massive. We are up to 287 at the timing of this one, so let's push that up and try and make the 300 mark in the next mm, couple weeks. That'd be awesome, or if not, then even more if we can get past that 300. Now, of course, today we are in our Boba Fett um, attire because it looks awesome and it fits with Star Wars. And we are also next to our beautiful Nissan Titan because we still love that car, vehicle, truck, or whatever you want to call it, if, where you're from. But, of course, the piece de resistance for today's episode is this big beauty right here. Now, I was going to bring in the Venator right next to it to do a pretty good size comparison because that was one of our first GTA 5 mod reviews we ever did. But I thought, eh, let's, let's just focus on the one today. So, without further ado, let's hop up here and have a good look-see before we hop in and fly it. Now, personally, I do think this thing could be a little bit bigger. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, fortunately, the hangar, you can't land in it. Um, I've tried, um, but it'd be very cool. I do love a ship that you could actually land in. Um, weapon systems on it is pretty damn good. It's your standard cannon, like a machine gun cannon kind of thing, and missiles. The overall texture of the ship is very nice. It could use a little bit of an update along with the, the bridge here. It's a bit... Um, substandard but it's okay it gets the point across that this is one of those uh cis battleships that is seen and it does actually have a very uh reminiscent of an actual real life battleship with the massive cannons there the sleekness of the whole ship itself um but it like i said it's a bit small for my personal liking and and the uh rendering on it could use a bit of an update but that is a-okay um she flies pretty weirdly. It, it kind of looks like a giant dildo flying through the sky, if I'm being completely honest. But that's uh, it, it is what it is. You know what I mean. Um, all the all the bells and whistles on it work. So you got the those light up. But like I said, could use a bit of an update. Um, but yeah, she looks very very cool when flying, as well as looking kind of silly as well. Um, if you want the model, as per usual, it will be in the description below. It is by our good buddy Kevin. It's one of his older ones, um, but that is A-OK -okay as well, because we like the old classic ones. We're still looking forward to seeing what other sci-fi ships he comes up with, because it is between him and one other person that does really the sci-fi kind of ships, so at least there is some person out there that is doing our nerdy sci-fi ships. Now, without further ado, there's not much else to say about the actual ship apart from to hop in it and give it a fly. Um, you can just uh, face through it, see. Uh, it's a bit hollow, but like I said, too bad we can't land in here, otherwise we so would. Um, but yes, uh, let's hop inside it, give her a whirl up in the air, and yeah, we'll have a fun time. 3,000 whoop. Who's later? And there we have it, Legionnaires. We are in the ship itself, and it's pretty cool. It's got that little kickstand at the bottom there that helps us land on that. Um, so view from the actual cockpit is just like this. This isn't actually in the actual, you know, Star Wars. This that is uh, the cockpit spit me a little bit further up, <clears throat> but anyway, it is what it is. So this room has a good old takeoff. You can tie, do a runway one if you've got a big enough runway. But for us, we're just going to take off straight up into the sky and it's got a very cool sound if I do say so myself now if there is any lag coming up I do apologize it is no fault of my own I do try to edit out as much of the lag as humanly possible but there's only literally so much you can do when it's uh, this kind of computer so let's uh, begin our flight
So, Legion, as you can tell, this ship flies very smoothly. She actually flies very well, and we're getting some absolutely stunning shots of this aircraft in the air. Now, like I said, it does look like a bit of a giant dildo flying through the sky, but um, but it also still has that battleship feeling as well, like uh, from when you see it from certain angles. Um, if we can get it to the front, but I don't think we can at the moment. But yes, it does have some very cool features and flies. There we go. See, very battleshipish. Very cool indeed. So what we'll do, Legionnaires, there's not much else to fly around in this ship. Eventually, we will, um, when we upgrade our system, uh, we will be doing the space mod, installing that, and then we can like. Um, start flying around in space in these ships um but that will be probably a little while off um just because of uh my rig would not be able to handle that um if there are any new updates to this mod we will eventually um we'll look into it uh we'll touch on it if there is one if not that's fine we're a-okay with having this ship like this um any other star wars uh, mods that you'd like to see in the future if they're available we will definitely be um trying them out in the future. Uh, I have put in a few requests to our buddy Kevin um, for some ships that I would personally like to have in the game, like Serenity from uh, Firefly or the movie Serenity, both same ship but just uh, different iterations of it. Um, a few more from Stargate but our buddy Kevin is not really a fan of Stargate so we're not uh, too fussed about that one but hopefully someone out there will make those ships for us so we can have a good look see at them. Uh, and if there are any other ships that you guys would like to see, leave it in the comments below because Kevin will have a look at them more than likely and he will probably do them in the future when he has the time or his rig hasn't blown up on him as well as he has said to me about his rig is not doing too well. Um, but yes, this is a very nice elegant landing. It's not the worst one we've ever had. We've had some very, very bad ones in my opinion. But it just comes down nice and easy. There we go. Poof. And we have landed. So what we'll do, Legionnaires, is hop out of this uh, CIS battle cruiser, battleship, whatever you want to call it. It does have an actual proper name, but I forgot what it was as of recording this, so we're just calling it a battleship. Um, but it'd be very cool to see some other Star Wars-related um, battleships, like um, the Luke Hulk or something like that, or even, like I said, some Stargate ones. Um, even, yeah, well, I'm trying to think of other ships personally, but none are really coming to mind at the moment. But anyway, Legionnaires, let's hop out of this ship and close out the episode. And there we have it, Legionnaires, on the, sa on the ground, safe and sound, next to our Nissan Titan and the battleship behind us. Now, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, as we do appreciate it. We do try to get at least an episode out a week um, at the moment. I'm still trying to find it hard to get the computer to work for me when I want it to work, um, hence why it's a bit sporadic when it comes to episodes. I do look on trying to get some ARC episodes out in the near future, as well as some other games coming along the way. I'm looking at trying to get some uh, the good old flight simulator. Um, and then later on... Um, I would like to start actually doing some actual real life flying with like a remote controlled um, jet here and there with like a GoPro and all that kind of stuff. So leave it in the comment section you guys if you'd like to see that uh, in the future because I would love to do that. Um, and I will try my best to try and actually make some, I'll actually personally try and reach out to a few manufacturers to make some nerdy ones. So like an F-302. Uh, hell, even the Deadless, if we can get that. Um, the Ebon Hawk um, in real life would be very cool. Or even a massive Z95 Headhunter. Just, you know, or, or even a Venator class Star Destroyer. So these are the plans that I uh, would like to take the channel later on in the future. There'll be a whole little um, playlist dedicated to the flights. Um, like the, the drones, I guess you call them drones, or RC planes um, eventually. So if you want to see those hit that like and subscribe button as I will keep you updated on the progress of that. So Legionnaires, that's about it for this episode today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want this mod, it will be in the description below along with any other necessary details that I feel you guys might need. So thank you for your support Legionnaires and we will see you in the next one.